there are certain things you could do in your daily life that can make you feel more confident each and every day. More confident in yourself, more confident in the things you're doing, and not allowing yourself to worry about everybody else so often. So today we're going to go over five different things that you can do daily to be able to up your confidence each and every day. Let's go. Number one, put up your force field during interactions. Now let me explain what I mean by this. This is a concept that I got from Kevin Hart. Then what this concept means is that I want you to, even right now, right? I want you to close your eyes and picture that you have this force field around you. This thing that is guarding you from everything from coming at you. At any time when you're having an interaction with people, I want you to pretend that you have that force field up. And I'm talking about interactions where people are either putting you down or there's negative things being said, whatever it may be. Once you have those kinds of conversations, put that force field up in your head. Allow those things to no longer affect you, but realize that everything is bouncing off of that force field. So don't let words affect you. Don't let negative things affect you, but instead put that force field up. And in every interaction, you'll be able to realize that all those things don't matter and you'll be able to focus on yourself. Number two, do not conform to society. Society has so many set norms and there's so many set pieces that people expect you to be following. And because of this, because we're trying to follow these set expectations and these set boundaries that people have set for us, then we end up falling in line with this. And in turn, we don't feel as confident in ourselves because we feel like we need to follow this strict, rigid thing that has been set for us. I want you to break out of those boundaries. No longer worry about what everybody else is thinking or what everybody else is doing. Because at the end of the day, those things do not matter. Focus on yourself. Focus on what is it that you need to do and break out of those boundaries that everybody else is in. Because in actuality, you're not everybody else. You are yourself. Number three, embrace fear and resistance. Everybody has fear towards things. Everybody has resistance towards everything. My thinking in life is that for everything that is worthwhile, there is resistance standing between you and that thing. For example, when you're going to work out, there's always that resistance. Oh, maybe I should just do this later. I'm tired right now. I'd rather do it at another time. I'll do it tomorrow. That is resistance. That resistance is stopping you from doing what you want to do. If you have the goal to start a business, that resistance is, oh, this is difficult. You need money to invest into that. That's going to take a lot of your time. Can you actually do that? That's resistance. I want you to start embracing that resistance, embrace any kind of fear that you have in a situation and no longer let that stop you, but instead embrace it and go after that resistance and yourself. Number four, leading into that goal, is set a goal and follow it. I want you to set a main goal of whatever it is that you want, whether it's a material thing that you want, whether it's a great relationship, whether it's having a family, whether it's getting this house, whatever it may be, I want you to set a goal and then I want you to put a plan out for that and I want you to follow that goal. I don't want you to just set a goal and say, this is what I want, but then not work towards it. I want you to set that goal and then I want you to start working for it and have your mindset stuck on that goal. Think of that goal always and just start pursuing after it. When you have a goal and you're always looking towards that goal, you will be more confident in yourself. You will start having so much more ambition and you'll stop worrying about everything else around you because your mind is focused on that one thing that you have set for yourself. So I want you to set a goal and continue after it, no longer at letting people affect you in each and every kind of way. And if people have negative things to say about you chasing your goal, then like I said in step number one, make sure you put up that force field. And number five, and I feel like this is a very important one, and it's remove yourself mentally from social media. It's okay to have social media, whether you're using it for business or maybe you're just using it for pleasure time to look at everything that's going on sometimes. But I want you to remove yourself mentally from it. So many people get sucked up into social media where they're constantly on it, their mind get so set on everything that's on there. They start looking at everybody else's life and then they want their life to be like that too. They start looking at these things as so important. They start devoting their time to social media not realizing that they're spending three, four hours a day or even a week on this stuff. I want you to remove yourself from that and realize that social media is a tool that you can use to get what you want to get. Or even if you wanna look at it for a few minutes during the day to be able to break some time, then go ahead. But I want you to remove yourself mentally from it because if you're so focused on that and you're focused on everything on social media, 
then naturally you're going to start getting more down, more depressed. Such a high depression level is raised up because of social media. So I want you to remove yourself mentally from it so you do not let it affect you anymore. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Share with anybody who needs to hear all these tips so that we can all grow together as a community of people who are leveling themselves up. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.